again, if what you say is true, would, would all of this not definitively involve so many people? Oh, Dozens, clearly. hundreds, thousands of people that the odds so many years later of keeping the lid on it would be infinitesimal. How the lid was kept on at least dozens and dozens of people being responsible for this black ops operation, which is all you can really call it, is not the purview of the architects and engineers for 9-11 Truth. The evidence itself warrants a real investigation which will lead to how they might have gotten away with it and who they are. There is one thing that those on both sides of this divide can agree about, that the real importance of the fight over 9-11 Truth may have less to do with the past than it does with the future. When I travel to Malaysia or someplace and folks there say to me, so what happened? Were those buildings really brought down by the Americans or were they really brought down by the planes? That's when I know there's a problem. That's when I know that there are parts of this world that are now receiving this information and people are reporting it as fact over there that it really could affect how people view the West and how people view America. And I think that is the largest danger. What's the price of, of not asking these questions? What's the price of just accepting what we've been told and, you know, in lockstep, just, you know, go riding it till the wheels fall off without asking these questions? You know, sometimes boils need to be lanced. Sometimes poison needs to be brought to the surface in order for real healing to take place. And for us to turn this page on history without really, really reading it properly and, and making sure that we have all the right answers, that's unconscionable. Call them conspiracy theories or alternative scenarios. Find them plausible, offensive, or crazy. For now, the key question about 9-11 truth is simply, whose version of the truth are we talking about? A final word on that story. We did it not to promote one side or the other, but to shine some light on some of those unresolved issues and unanswered questions. And given the amount of mail we got before the program, we're fully expecting to hear from a lot of you on both sides of the 9-11 truth issue. And we welcome all of it.